Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Deli Ali. Happy birthday to you. Have a nice. Now blow your candles out. You have a good night. You have a good night. Budgeting issues, but you are welcome to take this home. I mean, I've heard it is. Is it your favourite chocolate cake? You, no, I hate you hate chocolate. No, you don't. You, don't. you I like love chocolate. Love Trade love bake, remember? It is FIFA and Chill, and it's courtesy of EA Sports FIFA 16, and it is team of the season That's time. It. If you could pick, you know, two defenders, two midfielders, and two strikers for your team of the season, like right now, off the top of your head, who would you pick? Wait, so goalie? A goalie is what? God. Hugo Lloris in goal. Hugo Lloris. All up. Toby. Old world. Well, he's gonna pick next to him. Who's next? Yeah, Madonna. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Ooh, ooh. Only two midfielders. Uh, Eric Dyer. And Bay. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Moussa Dembele. Moussa oh, Dembele. Oh, you're not gonna pick yourself. Okay. okay. And Harry Kane. Up so it's Tottenham. <laughs> so you basically put the Tottenham side. <laughs> basically, uh, I think they all deserve it. So. I mean, slightly, you're thinking North London Derby, isn't it? Yeah, it has to be, isn't it? Kind of. Right, North London Derby, it has to But be. in the same breath, there's a lot of pressure because then I have to beat Dele Alli, considering fact I'm an Arsenal fan. And so I 3 0 you in the first half then. Ooh! Oh, oh Delhi, don't. Zello. Well, I'm going to ask you various questions in life, and then obviously we've got the Copper fam that watch the show. They've flooded our timeline with questions for you, and I mean flooded. You signed up for Spurs. Um, Spurs, I, I never imagined them you know, competing for the Premier League. You're a star, a, a main asset within that team, and now there's the potential of you going to the Euros, representing England in France. How does that feel in two years? Because in my two years, I've, I haven't really done much in my life. So, <laughs> in comparison to you, mate, you've done a lot. Nah, obviously it's been good and it's, it's happened really quick. I've still got a lot to work to do. I'm, I'd like to say I'm 19, but I'm 20 now. <laughs> You're not a teenager no work. I'm a man, I, feel? I feel a lot more mature. After a couple of days? Yeah, already. Pre game down? Pre game down? One, right, two, two, three. Day! Okay. You I mean you've been here in the Premier League, you've seen what happened last season with Leicester City, them fighting for survival, surviving, and now top of the Premier League. How does that, I mean, is this the maddest thing you've ever seen? This is like the, the, the perfect love tale. It is crazy, obviously. I think uh, they would have surprised a lot of people. But when you play against them, you do see like, how good they are. And they're tactically, obviously. Was that one nil? Doing something right. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, they're a great team, and you know, obviously, we're going to keep fighting until the end. But if they win it, then fair play to them. Vooch, uh, don't ask me oh, questions. Look, Jenny, not if do this was real life, I would have been. Life. Look, look how slow I am. I know that, that's a good representation, to be fair. Look I'm at that. Flipping, got, I've got the handbrake. On, have you got a cross in you? <laughs> no, but I've got a cutback. Oh, you got oh. a cutback? Is it? No, no, no. I no. say one nil. Then Bele don't have a right foot. He never has, mate. Not in Football Manager, not in FIFA, and not in real life, son. Birdie Boy 701 has asked an interesting question though. This is, is it about nutmeg again? No, it's not about nutmeg again. I'm sick and tired of that. Because when we've done the Adidas shoot, mate, you were doing it for absolute fun. You were nutmegging people just living their lives. Like they're just there <laughs> holding cameras and stuff. You're nutmegging them and embarrassing them. This question is a little bit more important. Ooh. Basically, he's asking would you play for Arsenal or retire? If you had two options, you can move to <laughs> Arsenal or you know what, son, retire from football completely. Hanging what would you do? Up. Hanging my boots up. You're hanging your boots up? <laughs> you're so young, Denny, you're 20 years old. I like you. You can be playing with Sanchez and Ozil. Nah, that's Sometimes a, that's a you've got to do what you got to do. How about this, though? This is a question from uh, Max. He says, is it amazing to be classed as one of the best players in the Premier League right now? Uh, well, not FIFA, but yeah, in real life. <laughs> personally, I don't think I am, but you know, there's a lot of great wow. players and to be put in even in that sort of category, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a massive achievement for me. Who's this? Who's this? I've still got a lot to do and I need to just keep improving. How is difficult is it to stay humble though? Because if I was 20 years old, yeah, um, and I was playing in the Premier League, and man was second in the league, you couldn't chat to me. I wouldn't even <laughs> talk to my mum. When she goes to talk to me, like, my mum, are you second in the Premier League though, fam? Don't talk to me about washing dishes. Man's big man for washing dishes. How do you remain so humble and play? <laughs> but while you're giving your monologues about washing dishes, but I'm talking to him. Just give and you're letting er give Ericsson. Ericsson. Question. Do you know how Eric Tony Ericsson phones? They don't even use them no more. God, oh, I don't want to lose again. Ah, oh, all right. So do you still wash dishes like at home? Or have yeah. you moved out? I've, I've moved out, but I don't wash. Oh, dishes. is it? No, I don't wash dishes. No, who washes the dishes I then? Can't. You got a maid, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> my IG. Ooh, how about this from TSDHD? He says, "How did it feel when you made your debut in the North London derby?" To me, it's probably one of the biggest games in the world. So yeah, you know, obviously, 
you don't really there's not you don't really need to say anything, you know how big it is and it's all sort of football goes out the window and it's just you know, it's crazy. Yeah, obviously everyone knows how big it is and the players we do say about it that how obviously we need to win it. Not just for us but for the fans as well. Like how do you deal with the pressure in general? Because like I'm crumbling here under pressure and you're playing the Prem and you're second and you're playing for England against Germany. Just, just watching like, the boxing midfield. Like, you don't even care. <laughs> uh, I think that's obviously, like I say, it's a lot of down to the individual. It's like in it, like, you know, like, in it. <laughs> I'm not looking to lose. Uh, luckily I've got good support around me as well to help me stay grounded and just focus on the football. Oh my God, it's AKA Jesus. Ah, oh, Mesut Ozil, what are you doing? <laughs> Ah, oh, it was a good play! Pochettino, Pochettino asked the question as well, because obviously Pochettino is a massive fan of us. Um, I spoke to him last night, you know, we were talking about you and just, just how you need to play and all of that. Yeah. Um, he says, what's it like to be mentored by me? Yeah, no, he's a great manager. And I think like the biggest thing with him as well is he doesn't just think about the football, he thinks about off the pitch as well, like just making you a better person. Oh, is it? Which I think is important. Like relationship advice and all that, like if your girlfriend's <laughs> like being a bit crazy, like, let me see If I had now. a girlfriend then maybe, but... Other stuff, Single yeah, he does like. like <laughs> he's on the market, get it. ladies on the market, so go on. <laughs> yeah, obviously, like, just making you into a better person as well as a, as a top player. That MySpace photo, which is probably going to pop up here, the editor's going to do his magic. What was that about? Because I know we all have our embarrassing photos. <laughs> you have to <laughs> tell me, Delhi. That was, that was one for some of the girls <laughs> in my school. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that the background? So what, what no, that was. Um, I think me and my friends, she was going somewhere. I think it was a house party or something. Yeah. I was wearing a yellow one. I had yellow plimsolls on as well. You had yellow plimsolls <laughs> on? <laughs> and my friend was like wearing a blue cardigan with blue plimsolls and my other friend was wearing two different colours. So I think it was just a bit of banter. Because <laughs> that photo... Yellow plimsolls is definitely... But I always wanted to know that background of that photo. That is beautiful to know. Because you have them Facebook memories. There's worse ones. There's worse? But, um, Really hoping people don't find. Well, if you I shouldn't say this. People are going to search now. I'm actually not going to play the second half because the, obviously I'm, I'm, I'm buttons. The buttons is a bit no, of an issue. Tell the that. truth. You got scared. <laughs> you got. You got. I you mean, see what sort of level I was, and you just thought. I mean, theories. <laughs> oh, how about this? how about this one? Jay Skiller says, "What was your reaction when you were called up to the England squad?" Because that's a mad thing. It was weird because before it was in a uh, Monaco. Yeah. And the manager called me over after training, and he said. How do you feel about going over the England under 19s? And obviously, you're happy to play for your country, whatever age it is. I said to him, I thought it was too old. And he said, No, you can, you're old enough. And I was like, Yeah, okay, yeah, I'd love to. And then just said, Oh, no, I think you're. I spoke to Roy, I think you're going away with them. And I was, I was still confused. I thought, I didn't know if I was going away with the 19s or. That's senior team? Yeah, because obviously, I wouldn't have believed it when he said I was going to the senior team. And when it sort of sunk in, I realised. And yeah, and then obviously I didn't want to what think about it too much doing with because we had the game the next day, but it was, obviously it was quite hard not to think about it. We've got some more questions here. We've got loads oh. of questions here. Daily Alley. No, not Daily Alley. Not Daily Alley. But did you score with yourself? You don't even do that celebration. That's how you know the game's That's quite aggressive. That wouldn't have really happened. I would have missed that. You're not going to give it away. Quaif turn. Look, turning Koscielny. Ben Smith wants to know, Euros or Premier League? Ooh. If you could win one, what do you want to win? Oh, that is That's tough. tough. That's tough, isn't it? What do you choose? I think I'd love to win them both equally as much. It just isn't happening for me. Three one-on-ones. What, what kind of answer was that? <laughs> I didn't so know which media one trade, didn't it? <laughs> it out. What inspired that wave as well? Where did that come from? The Deli Alley wave is so famous right now. Just a bit of banter. No, it was... Um, oh, just not this happening. is embarrassing. That was when we was playing, I think it was for the Man U game. Yeah. And uh, I just was doing the warm-up and all the cameras were pointing at me and it was like really obvious. And I don't know, I don't remember why I'd waved, but we was talking about something and then yeah. it's a wave coming up to do a wave to them. And then I just did it, so. I didn't for expect it to, yeah, just for it. Get so big, but it just yeah. got massive. Yeah. Um, one of the people I reckon you were speaking to about it is Eric Dyer. How did you lot's friendship just like flourish like that? Is it when you both started, you know, performing for Spurs, you thought, you know, we're the top players here, might as well be friends and stuff. Or was it something you had prior to that? Yeah, I think it's sort of, come from as soon as I joined the club. Um, it was one of the things, obviously, I was young. I'd just moved to London. He was quite new to the club. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, I just, maybe he just felt like he needed to look after me. And he did, so. Oh! <laughs> Biggest prank uh, to Spurs. I think Kyle Walker loves the prank. Like, all like the Halloween stuff, I don't know if you've seen it. Oh yeah, that yeah. was too funny. Too yeah. funny. Uh, but the Belgian boys, they're always like, uh, Musa. Come on, lads! We can win this! Moose. Well, Beck, look like you're interested, son. You're walking. <laughs> it's all right. Sorry, sorry. 
All right, let's do this. Last couple minutes. I had to give you a little bit of hope. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Oh, see if, see if, see if, see if. Oh, Harry Kane goes through and wraps it up like a flipping Christmas present, and we're in April. Why are we getting it's Christmas rich. presents we in got April? An exclusive. We got an exclusive, Delhi, the exclusive. Do you, I don't, do you know Patrick Bamford? Patrick yeah. Bamford, yeah. Bamford. Obviously, we was quite close at MK. We had a game, it was a night game, and we were staying in a hotel before the game. And because it was close, like, I knew all his passwords and so everything, like his phone, his laptop and stuff. And we had like three hours of doing nothing and he'd, he'd fallen asleep. So I went on to all his phone and stuff and changed all the time to like 10 minutes before we was meant to be like, no, I changed it to 10 minutes after he was meant to be on the coach. Changed my number on, my, on his phone to one of the sports people so, and kept calling myself so he had loads of missed calls. And then I woke up like, Pat, Pat, we need to go, we need to go. He was like, why? I was like, oh, we're 10 minutes late. So obviously he got up without showering, he'd been put all his clothes on. I was like, oh, I need to find my charger. You go downstairs and tell him to wait. And he's like, got change, run downstairs. And I just got back into bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should give you the Deli Alley wave and just say goodbye. Thank That's you so it. much for contributing. Vuj, what else have we got to do? I mean, now? that was FIFA and Show with Deli Alley. We have lost again. again. Everybody's really hot and tired. But yeah. and if you do want to win the deluxe edition up to 40 premium gold packs, FIFA 16 of Legends only on Xbox One, Don't all you me, have to rash. do is hashtag <laughs> FIFA and why you deserve it. Keep watching. Thank you very much. Who do you want to see FIFA and next? Leave a comment yeah. and uh, have a nice, have a nice. <laughs>